glance over the thug's shoulder, checking if the others have gotten any closer. Fortunately me, er, for me, they haven't yet. This is your last warning, kid. You gonna drop your shit or what? He doesn't seem to have any noticeable weaknesses. I should proceed with caution. Raising my guard seems to catch his attention as he readies his bat soon after, a smirk growing across his face. You got balls, I'll give you that. But you're not part of the act as a kid. You're going to regret this even if you ain't a punch or two. He says that, but his get-up alone proves he's nothing more than just a common street thug. I doubt I'll face any real repercussions after this is over. The thug inches closer to me as I prepare for his first move. After some time, he finally swings the bat towards my lower right hip, of which I promptly dodge by simply retreating back a few steps. His next swing aims directly for my head from above, but I was able to shift out of the way just in time. Using this brief moment of opportunity, I throw a left hook directly into his lower left jaw. Ah! You little... Best! Ah! And another towards the underside of his head. This pushes him back a little, giving him enough time to put his guard back up. Ah! Fuck! How are you going... Or, or you're going to pay for that, you prick! He charges at me, aiming his bat in preparation for a diagonal swing downwards. The bat barely misses, but he's able to quickly go for another swing towards my left arm. Tch, this bat's getting annoying. If I'm ever going to get this guy out of the way, then I gotta get that stupid bat away from him. He goes for a swing to the head, but I'm just able to duck in time and push him into a nearby wall. Get the hell off me! Grabbing the lower end of the bat, I position one foot on his stomach and the other firmly on the ground before I start pulling the bat away from him. He attempts to strike me with his other fist, but I'm able to grab hold of it as soon as it gets close to my head. Soon enough, I'm able to pull that bat from his grasp and toss it towards the ground. I go for another strike to the thug's head, but I notice something off about the bat's collision with the concrete floor. I immediately position my hand just under my chin instead, and sure enough, one of the other thugs firmly wraps a belt around my neck. <clears throat> he pulls me back a meter or so. But after enough struggle, I'm able to slip the belt just over my chin and escape. Wasting no time, I take several steps away to fully understand the situation I'm in. Great, now I have to deal with them two on one. Taking another step back, I feel my ankle bump into an object. They don't have the bat, so at least I have that going for me. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make any use of it. They're just too close for me to pick it up right now. Not wanting the thugs to be able to utilize the bat that I can't, I kick the bat some ways down the alleyway. It won't prevent them from grabbing it, but it may buy me some time if I'm lucky. Your luck's on- er, your luck's run out, kid! Just give it up already! The more you fight back, the more of an excuse we'll have to kick your teeth in! Both of them stand at around the same height as me. It'll be annoying to take them both on simultaneously. I should break them up if possible. I peek just down the alleyway, locating the third one of the thugs. He doesn't seem interested in what's going on at all, oddly enough. His full attention looks to be focused on the man that's lying on the ground. At least I won't need to worry about him just yet. My attention returns to the ones in front of me, and that's when I notice one of them with, or within punching distance. Mm. Oh shit. I'm barely able to dodge out of the way in time, causing me to stumble backwards. He goes for another swing to the face, but I'm able to grab hold of his wrist at it, as his arms extended. Pushing past him, I kick the inner part of his knee in. Whoa! Although he falls to the floor, the other thug follows close behind with a punch towards my stomach. Gah! Thankfully, this only causes me to stumble backwards as I was able to step back in time to reduce the full force of the blow. I take notice of the other thug helping himself up off the ground, and decide to use this opportunity to strike the one that's standing. He throws a quick right hook above my head, but I dodge just below his arm, and throw a similar punch directly into the upper part of his stomach. In quick succession, I force the palm of my left hand over his face, and push his head into a metal pole just behind him. He drops to the floor, both hands clutching the back and side of his head respectively. I waste no time striking the back of his head with my foot before swiftly backing away in preparation for the other thug's attack. It seems he only just got up, so lucky me. Oi! What's the hold up? I quickly check behind, noticing I have let myself become blocked on both sides. 
If fighting two thugs at one time is annoying, this is now exceedingly so. Back off. I want to whoop this kid's ass myself. Ow! Oh, then why haven't you done it already? Because we keep getting these damn lucky shots on us. All I need is one good punch and he's down, boss. Boss. I look behind me once more at the thug he just called boss. Now that he's closer, I can get a good look at him this time. The suit he wears looks expensive and... Ooh. Peeking down at his wrist, I see a nice-looking silver watch. You know, this whole thing might be a little annoying, but at least I'll get something from all this. I feel a smirk creep across my face. If you're going to take him, you better get on with it already. I don't want to add killing a kid to my list of things to do today, anyway. Got it, boss. There, boss turns away, walking back down the alleyway. That man's still on the floor, so I don't believe he'll go very far. Cell, I should end this fight quickly. There's no telling what his next action will be. After a brief moment of silence, the thug charges at me with his arms kept close to his chest. He sends a barrage of punches my way, all of which are unable to hit. Finally, seeing a good chance to strike, I round a kick into the side of his lower torso. Gah! I follow up with a hard punch towards his left cheek while he is still attempting to recover. Unlike the other thug before him, he's able to brush off the succeeding blow and suddenly goes for a desperate punch towards my chest. It lands with minimal force, minimal force, allowing me to grab hold of his arm. I've had just about enough of this. I really don't want that boss guy running away on me now. In one fell swoop, I firmly twist and pull his arm forward, whilst delivering a sudden blow to the underside of his elbow. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ha! You bitch! And being conscious won't help me at all. There we go. With two out of the three guys now out of the way, I look down the alleyway. Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, guess he didn't go far after all. Works for me. For some school kid, I'm surprised you were able to take out the two of them. You don't look like the kind of guy to be involved with any family, especially not that get up. So what's your deal? I continue walking over to him, not bothering to answer his question. I've already made up my mind by now, anyway. The kid keeps walk or, the kid keeps walking in my direction. It's full of tension on me. Out of all the crazy shit that's happened today, this is the last thing I expected to deal with. I reach my hand into my pocket, hovering over the grip of my switchblade. White hair, colorless eyes. Not to mention his demeanor changed once he saw me. It all seems too coincidental, but I fail to understand how or why they'd be related. One thing's for sure, though. If he can take on both of them, then my only option is to get rid of him. My hand grips the handle of my knife firmly, which seems to catch his attention as his eyes dart towards my right pocket. Did he notice my arm tense up? No. He likely only just noticed that I was up or what I was up to. Heh. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether he knows or not. I won't allow this fight to drag on more than it has to. I wait until he's less than two meters away before I go in for my first strike. Swiftly pulling out my knife, I go for a swing towards the lower stomach. As expected, the kid steps back, giving me a perfect chance to jab the knife into his... He grabs my wrist, stopping the blade of the knife just before it was able to pierce his neck. I go for a hard left hook, but his leg suddenly sweeps under mine, catching me off guard. Shit! The sudden impact with the concrete floor leaves my a small trail of blood running down the side of my head. Even on the floor, however, I retain my firm hold over the knife. The last thing I want right now is this kid to have the advantage over me. I attempt to bring myself back on my feet, but I'm kicked down before I can even get a knee up. Damn it! I continue resisting as best as I can, or at least until I feel the full force of his weight come crashing down onto my back. Gah! Is... is he fucking sitting on me? I try to pull myself out, but to no avail. Let go of the knife already. It'll make things easier for the both of us. Get the hell off me first! I don't see why I'd take a risk like that. Then I ain't letting go of that knife for shit! <sighs> His thumb digs into a soft spot just below my wrist in an attempt to make me drop it. I don't let go, however, resisting the pain as much as possible. Yeah, one second. Yeah, I need to comment here if this is if this is just a sentence fragment, honestly. That's when I feel him force my wrist back. Suit yourself. Is a sudden spike of pain that rushes down my forearm, and it's soon replaced by an oddly numbing feeling. He lets go of my wrist, and it becomes very clear that it's broken. Small bones are popped out with the back of my hand lying parallel to my arm. The pain is nothing less than excruciating. 
That kid finally stands up, admiring something on his wrist. It doesn't take me long to realize it's my own watch that he's admiring. That bastard. I search around the area, desperately looking for wherever my knife might have dropped. It couldn't have gone far, and it's not like I see him with it. So where the hell is the damn thing? Eventually, my attention is drawn to the kid, who now stands just over me. He stares at me for a moment, not making a single move. This goes on for another minute or so before he finally closes his eyes and reaches into his pocket. Hmm? All right. His gaze quickly shifts down the alleyway. I dropped it. The kid casually steps over me, walking towards the other guy's unconscious bodies. What the hell could he be up to? This... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this needs to be possessive because it's they're, they're, they own the bodies. Whatever, like it matters. I need to find my knife before he comes back. Once again, my eyes desperately scan the area but come up with nothing. Damn it! He hasn't come back yet. Maybe I can escape while I have the chance. It'll be hard to swallow, but it's better than having my fate be decided by some kid in a Halloween costume. Besides, it's not like it'll be a, or I'll be able to fight all that well with a broken wrist. With my open hand, I push myself up to my knees. Although I can only make it halfway before I need to take a breather. Ha! Ah. <sighs> Despite not using my other hand, the pain continuously surges throughout my arm each time I move my body. It hurts like a bitch, but I need to get out of here. After some time, I'm able to put one foot flat on the... Where are you going? Huh! When the hell did he get behind me? I wouldn't try to keep fighting if I were you. It's not like you can do much with just one hand. So what? The fuck do you want anyway? What do I want? Hmm. The kid closes his eyes for a moment. Is he trying to genuinely answer the question? Girl, like it matters. Anyway, I need to find this knife. There's no running away now. Once again, comma. Where is it? To be honest, I don't know myself. Peace of mind, maybe? Or even a purpose would work. It'd at least give me more drive for the future than I have now. Oh, I was musing. But I'd assume that's not what you really meant. I'm sorry. Uh, what are you searching for? Eh. Shit, he noticed. It's nothing. I just dropped... I just dropped something, that's all. You're looking for this, aren't you? He, pull he pulls that object from his pocket. Eh? Since when did he get that? In his hand sits my switchblade, of which he holds the side with the grip facing towards me as if he's standing the knife or handling the knife cover. Or handing the knife cover. What is he just giving me the knife back? I stare at the knife's handle and back at him. Is he is he crazy? No. This has to be some sort of trap. It has to be. Shit, damn it, that, that knife is my only shot out of here. I need to take this opportunity while I can. Uh, 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 hold on. You need to promise me something first. Promise you won't try to stab me when I, my back's turned, and you can have it back. Eh? It seemed like a simple request to me. I don't understand the confusion. N no, 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 no. I'm not confused at all. I, I promise I won't stab you in the back when you leave. You have my word. I see. Hmm. He stares into my eyes for a moment. He's very eerie, especially for a kid in a pirate costume. Doesn't matter, though. <laughs> If he's dumb enough to actually give me my knife back, then I'll just strike him down the second he turns away. Like, seriously, who does he think he is giving the man who was just trying to kill him his weapon back? Kid's gotta learn someday to be a little less altruistic. Right as my hand hovers over the knife's grip, he jerks it away. What the? <laughs> is he laughing at me? <laughs> You're really fun to mess with, you know. You actually thought I'd just give this back to you. <laughs> what the hell? His laughter. It's completely hysterical. A complete 180 to his demeanor just seconds ago. Just who is this guy? Ugh. What the hell's your deal, kid? Just tell me what the hell you want already. <laughs> you lied to me. Although I was expecting you to lie when I asked the question, so I guess it isn't really a fair deduction. Yeah, whatever. I can't even tell which is more harrowing. The fact that some kid was able to corner me this much, or how he's seemingly able to compl completely change his mood on the fly. Damn it. Damn it! Do you think this is all some kind of joke? You fucking sociopath! His smirk quickly drops, returning to his original resting frown. 
How about be cut to the point, then? I'll make this quick, not like it'll matter. His hand retracts back, flipping the grip sign towards himself. Huh? What are you- I can't clip the history. I'm dying. Yuck. What do you mean by that? Yuck. Yuck. Huh? How? Well, what happened? Hmm? Alright, I almost forgot about him. If I remember correctly, he had a debt to these guys or something. I nailed down, checking the pockets of the unconscious thug until I come across a wallet. Oh, rather, two separate wallets. The one that catches my attention is the wallet with a couple hundred dollar bills poking out of it. That's quite the amount of money. I slide a hundred into my uniform's chest pocket, just out of sight of the man, before tossing the wallet over to him. I'm sure he won't mind. Thank you. I take a look at the thug's pocket again, pulling out the other wallet this time. It appears empty on first glance, but upon opening it, I notice something. A family photo of them all on the beach. And along his right shoulder rests a dragon tattoo. Maybe he'll be more useful than I thought. I search his pockets further until I find his phone. Pulling it out, I'm of course greeted by a lock screen, go figure. I simply scan through each of his fingerprints until I find the one which unlocks the phone. That should be all I'll need from him. I look around to find the other thugs still unconscious. Good. Now, what to do with him? I stand up, walking over to the man who's still lying on the floor. Who are you? I ignore his question, hoping to simply extend my arm out for him to use his leverage. Uh, oh, thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Uh, I just, Ow. Why, though? Uh, I don't know how I could ever repay you. God... Remember, nothing. That's what you should do. I allow the now unconscious man to fall over my left shoulder. Before carrying him out the alleyway, out of the alleyway, I dial the number for emergency services. Please state your emergency. Two armed guys are attacking my friends. We're located in downtown, towards the southern end of the main road. Inside an alleyway between a residential building and the karaoke spot situated at the center or at the corner of the intersection. We'll be sending our officers in an ambulance over there right away, sir. Could you... something? Could you please state your name? Hurry up. They already have one of my friends at knife point. Well, we understand, sir, but... I said hurry up or they'll kill him. If this is such a dire emergency, then how come you're so calm? It's always advised to remain calm in situations like this, right? I have to hang up now. They're coming over to me. Sir, please. Dang it, miss. Sir, please stay on the line. Bye. Please stay on the line, sir. Sir, can you hear me? God, they love their auto running six boxes. I was right. Here's the line. Oh, it seems this is the end. Of the demo, or I guess this, was this the first chapter? I guess I guess it was the first chapter. To be continued. Well, I can't even check what the rest of the operator said because when it goes back to the main menu like this, you lose the history. But that's the rising night so far. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. I'll give it that. Uh, I kind of wondered what the connection between like the crime stuff and the Doki stuff would be. Uh, but yeah. It seems my guess was right. It was just, just the other MC, Hallie, is the vigilante. But whether things will get more sorted than that, I guess we'll see. I can imagine that his connections to the club might land them in trouble if, like, these thugs he just messed with, uh, like, report them to their families or whatever. They're gonna catch on to him. It's gonna get messy, I can imagine. But, you know, that's gonna do it for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you next time with more Doki Doki. Hope to see you then. Bye bye.